guys, we're over here doing a little photo shoot. September 28th. Look at these clothes, baby. September 28th. I see the boy Big Wheel looking big. <laughs> yeah, I see us, baby. We looking fresh. She that all white looking clean. Showing out the cuts. Ready for it, night out. But guys, you gotta get the muscles yourself. <laughs> you want your bye-bye? There you go, my love. She's going down September 28th. We ain't fucking around, baby. You can wear these shirts in the gym. As you see, you can wear them on the night out of town. What you want to do? You can switch it up. Get you one for the gym. Get you one for a night out. Get two of them. Get 30 of them. Stop playing games, man. Man, make good life decisions and stop playing with yourself. Come on, guys. Y'all see what we doing. Y'all see how we getting it. Highly Icy White. All right, guys, we got those stringers on the way, too. Don't forget, they're tapered at the waist. You might want to go a size up. I tried something new, tapered the waist, and they fit a little tight around the midsection. For an example, Hector wears a small. Right now, he's wearing a medium for a more relaxed fit. So you want a more relaxed fit, go up a size, guys. Let's go to homies pulling up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Horses in the back. Top three. Mondays. Money Mondays is pretty much the start of the week and I call it Money Mondays because you gotta get on your fucking grind. It ain't the weekend no more. It's time to grind. Sorry about the shitty lighting. But anyway, having me some steak, rice and beans right here. Got that water right here. I'm gonna eat this real quick and then we're gonna talk about what is my split. People are asking what's my train split so I thought it'd be fun to tell you how I was training during my cut and how I like to train during my bulk. Not saying you gotta do it, I'm just sharing what I do, okay? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so let's get down to business. As you saw in those earlier clips, September 28th, fuck with that launch, 2 p.m. Central Time. As you see, you can wear these clothes in the gym, you can wear these shirts, hell, a night out on town. You can go out at night and still rock this shit. So it's fucking multi-purpose. Gym outside the gym. It depends how you put it together. So guys, as you know, I'm bulking. If you watched my leg video, what was that, about two weeks ago with my boy Natty King, Swosif, I could barely hit um, 365 on a front squat. This Saturday, today's Monday, people who follow me on Instagram already know this. I finally touched 405 again for the first time in a long time on that front squat. So the bulk is a success, guys. What I do is I eat three meals just like the one you just saw, three basic meals. And then after that, I eat whatever I want for the rest of the day. And that's usually around six. I usually get all my meals and shakes done around six, and then I eat whatever the fuck I want. Not tracking macros. I've been in the gym since I was since I'm 19, guys. Honestly, I started working out when I was 18, but I really got into the gym when I was 19. Hell, I'm 33 now. Okay, I know my fucking body. I'm not some fucking kid who just started working out yesterday. I know what my body need. 
I know it works for me. So let's get down on this split. I want to kind of touch on my split. Now, people who've been following me for a while know I'm a huge fan of the four days on, one day off training style. I've done it all, guys. I've done hitting everything once a week, like, you know, chest day on Monday type shit, leg day on Tuesday. You're hitting everything hard once a week. I've trained that way for years. I've done push-pull leg. I've done everything. I've done three days on, one day off. I've done six days in a row. I've done all kinds of splits. And what works best for me and my training style, since I train with crazy high volume, is going hard as fuck four days in a row, taking the day off to rest my body like today. Today's my rest day. Just watching TV, doing clients, chilling at the house, talking to you guys. And then I go back into the gym again four days in a row. And there's seven days in a week, obviously, so my rest days are going to change. My, my chest days are going to change. All right? And like I said, it works best for me because I train with really high volume. I can't train my legs like I train now on Monday and go back to the gym on Thursday and do that shit again. The way I train my legs Saturday, I'm gonna be pretty sore for the next few days, okay? Um, now, when I'm cutting, guys, I especially when the calories start to get pretty low, the cardio starts to get pretty high, you know how when you're dieting, and you know you, you you're losing like two pounds every week like no matter what and then you get to the point where your your progress is getting very slow you're only you're only losing like half a pound a week and you got to start getting more aggressive to keep the results coming that's when i start doing six days in a row you know and what i typically do the first three days i train hard and heavy as i can and then the last three days higher reps, lighter weight. Because if I go six days in a row, stupid hard, stupid heavy, I would never recover. Especially if I'm on low calories, especially if I'm doing a lot of cardio. You know, so yes, when cutting, not at the beginning of my cut, at the beginning of my cut, my training stays the same. But towards the end, like the last six weeks or so, yes, six days in a row, first three days hard and heavy, Last three days, I lighten the weight and just go for the pump, go for the reps. I really like that way of training too because when your calories are low, guys, a lot of, a lot of people don't notice. Um, when you lose weight, you don't just lose uh, fat and water. You lose muscle too. That's why we try to keep our protein high to combat that. That's why we try to lift lift a decent amount of weight to stimulate our muscles to combat that. So I feel like hitting your muscles twice a week, a heavy day and a light day, that's really gonna help you keep your muscles because you're constantly touching them. If you're constantly touching them, they're constantly recovering. Your muscles are too busy recovering to leave, uh, your muscles are too busy recovering to get rid of it. If, if your muscles are constantly being hit, attacked, and recovering, when does it ever have time to leave your body? So I think that's a good way to help maintain your muscle when cutting. But when bulking, guys, especially as a natural lifter, breaking down the muscle. What we're doing is breaking down the muscle and letting it rest so it can come back stronger. There's a reason why I haven't touched 405 in a long time. I've been in the gym six days in a week for a damn near a year straight. You know, I found it funny now that I'm back training four days on, one day off, cutting back on the cardio, eating food again, all my lifts are going back up. You feel me? So, yeah, let me give you my split, guys. So, I'm doing four days on, one day off. A Monday, chest and tries, high volume. And I'll, be, I'll post some workout videos, keep in mind, train along, but when I get friends to train with me, I'm going to record. I got chest and tries, day one. The next day, back and traps. The third day, delts and biceps. And then the fourth and final day, going all out on those fucking legs. And take my rest day, do it all over again. If you guys want a good four days on, one day off program, go to uh, getholeready.com. Yeah, the program is right here, okay? 
Day one, chest and delts. Day two, leg day. Day three, back and traps. Day four, arm day. That's a good split too. Four days on, one day off. I changed it up a little bit for myself because my delts are a weak point. I want to have its own day. So instead of doing chest and delts together, I do delt day with some biceps. You feel me? So that's how I'm training right now, man. And it's paying off. Be looking out for some more PRs. Be looking out for some more gains. All right? Any questions you guys comment below? Any topics you want me to cover? Comment below and I'll make a video on them. Like I said, I'm trying to get back into the groove of three to four videos a week for you guys. Be sure to like the videos, help me grow, and we'll see you at the next one. September 28th, motherfucker. Support the brand. Let's get it. Tag me on Instagram. Let me know y'all out here. Peace. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe, and holla back at your boy, baby. Minimum.